Good morning students. I am your computer teacher and today we are going to see chapter number 3rd that is operating system. Okay. In our last class we learned about what is operating system, what are the functions of an operating system, types of operating system and what is Microsoft Windows. Now let us see how, what is, how to start Windows 10. Okay. So, starting Windows 10. The Windows operating system gets loaded into the computer after switch on the computer. Okay. What happens is when Windows operating system is loaded on the computer, after it is on, means when you switch the computer on, during the process, a rotating circle of dots under the Windows logo is displayed. That means when you when you have Windows operating system and you have installed it in your computer system and when you switch on your computer system, what happens? You can see this dots, certain dots are there. Okay, this circle of dots will appear as the display in your computer screen okay now after windows 10 after windows 10 gets loaded the lock screen appears click anywhere on the lock screen the login screen appears okay see this one this is your lock screen okay and after uh, as you have loaded windows 10 you can see the lock screen appears and click anywhere anywhere on the lock screen anywhere when you click here or here anywhere when you click what happens you will be able to see a login screen okay this is the uh, login screen this one is the lock screen and this one is the locking uh, login screen what is login as you need user uh, uh, ID and password to operate anything same here also Windows gives you the feature to create your own ID password and to log in to your computer so like that Windows Windows displays a list of user accounts available in the computer select a username and enter the password if you need to protect your computer system by any other user okay you don't want to um, you don't want others to use your computer system then you can create your own ID password and then you can log in in it then after you have logged in what happens you will get a welcome message that appears and the desktop is displayed on the screen okay this is the screen this one is the screen Okay, this one is the screen, then this one is the desktop, then these are icons, this is the start button and this is the tasks bar. Okay, we'll learn one by one what is desktop, what is icon. So, these things are there in Windows 10. Okay, what is there? First of all, you will get uh, the Windows, operate, Windows 10 operating system uploaded. Then after you will get a lock screen. After uh, after you click anywhere in lock screen, you will get a login screen. And after login, after you create your ID password, then you will get a desktop screen. Okay, Windows 10 desktop screen where you will find first one is desktop, second icon, third start button, and the fourth one is tasks bar. Now what are this? Let us learn about it. Desktop. Desktop is the place in Windows where programs are opened and all the work is done. It is similar to the top of a table or a desk where you work. Hence, it is called the desktop. The desktop contains two items, icons and taskbar. Okay. What happens? What is desktop? All of you know. Desktop is the place in Windows where programs are opened okay a place where programs are opened and work is done there okay and 
what is it similar it is similar to a table you all know table or a desk okay where you work so hence it is called the desktop now desktop has can desktop contains two item one is icon and the next one is taskbar now what is a task icon what are icons so the small the small picture on the desktop are called icons okay whatever small pictures you are able to see here these are called icons and icons on the desktop represent files folders or programs when you double click on an icon a window gets opened or a program gets executed what happens when you click double click on a icon any of the icon these here you can see three icons are there when you double click on it what happens the icon uh, windows will be open okay whatever the things are there inside it that will be opened up or else if there is a program that can be executed that will execute so first icon is this pc you know this icon isn't it this is called this pc now this pc icon lets you access all the files and folders stored on various disks in the computer okay whatever file or whatever folder is there that you can see in th my, uh, this pc that means in your systems location you can get the files and folders the next one is network okay you can see this network one network icon lets you access other computers and devices connected to the computer what happens with the network this uh, you have seen wireless connections okay or uh, with uh, wire connection also as if you want to connect your wifi with the computer system then you can connected by network okay now then next third one is recycle bin by seeing this icon you can understand what is recycle bin so i'll let you know recycle bin icon lets you access all the files and folders deleted from the computer okay what is the recycle bin recycle bin says that if you delete anything from my this pc what happens that automatically gets stored in recycle bin and if in future you need those deleted files you can get in recycle bin okay now come to task bar see task bar a long horizontal bar located at the bottom of the desktop is called the task bar it has four main sections now what is task bar task bar is a no, task bar is a horizontal bar this is the horizontal bar and this is located at the bottom of the desktop okay and it has four main sections what are they first one is start button okay this one is start button then the next one is search box the next is middle section and the next is notification area so we'll see it one by one first of all we'll start with the start button okay it is a small icon presented present on the left corner of the task bar when you click on the start button the start menu appears all of you know what is start button isn't it whenever uh, that is uh, located on the left corner of the uh, task bar then when you click on this start button what happens a start menu appears now the next one is search box okay search box it is present beside the start button it allows you to quickly search for program and files on your computer and internet as we search on google isn't it it gives us information about everything but when we search on this search box what happens whatever you are searching in the computer system when you type the name of it 
you will get it okay files on your computer and the internet immediately it will connect you to internet also if uh, your uh, computer is connected with the via wifi in the network area then the next one is middle section what is there in middle section it contains icons to quickly access commonly used programs it also displays icons of program currently opened on the desktop okay what happens with the middle section here you can see this is the middle section this is the middle section in this middle section you can see internet is there your folders are there everything is there isn't it and even if something is opened so that icon also will be displayed here okay in the middle section so this is the function of middle section now the next one is notification area it is present on the right corner of the taskbar it displays the current date and time and icons that inform about the status of background processes and computer setting see here you can see the notification area this is the notification area and here you can see everything uh, almost all the things are there like time and date is there okay and any other informations the uh, information if you want then you can get it where it is located it is located at the right corner of the task bar okay and whatever things uh, uh, is going on in the computer background processes means and computer settings if you want any that you can get in this notification area now let us see the how um, how we can move the task bar okay as task bar is uh, there in the horizontal area in the bottom side of the desktop so if i want to move it move from bottom to any other area so by default by default in the sense uh, by the system those who developed it that person has already put down it in the bottom of the desktop but if i want to change it if i want to change it to another place then what happens how i can change it that i'll let you know now see moving the task bar okay so by default by default as the system is already made so by default the task bar is present on the bottom of the desktop okay this is the uh, this is the bottom of the desktop it is present here only isn't it now it can be moved to any other edge of the desktop if i want to move the um, this task bar this side or this side or this side i can move anywhere whether to left to right or to top anywhere i can move it so what is the pro, uh, what is the uh, steps of it so let us move the task bar to the right edge of the desktop see now we will from this side we will drag the uh, task bar towards the right hand side of the desktop this side okay so for that move the mouse pointer on an empty area on the task bar okay we, uh, just uh, you have the pointer isn't it so the pointer you just place it you just place it here okay you just place it here now you have the mouse pointer then click just click and drag the task bar to the right edge of the desktop got it now the third one is just you have to release the mouse button as you had double click it the task bar the same way you have to release the mouse button now and then what will happen the task bar is moved to the right of right edge of the desktop similarly you can move the task bar to any other edge of the desktop now if i want this task bar to be moved here what i will do i'll simply double click here okay i'll double click here and then i'll drag it to top and here i will release the mouse button what will happen this task bar will automatically be in the top corner of the desktop understood students any doubt you can ask me and today's class is over we'll meet in our next class with the 
नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज आवर स्टार्ट मेन्यू ओके